The Emmaus disciples had barely finished recounting their resurrection visit from Jesus when Jesus comes into the locked room with all the other disciples that first Easter evening, scaring the daylights out of the disciples. Luke says it this way. He says they were startled and frightened. Well, when Jesus asked them, why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Well, come on, Jesus. I mean, dead people don't raise themselves back to life from the dead. That's kind of like rule number one of being dead. You don't come back to life. Okay. Jesus then shows them the scars in his hands and his feet that where the nails had been just a few days earlier driven into his body. Maybe that would convince them. No. Luke says they still disbelieve, but now joy and marveling are starting to creep into their hearts. I mean, you see, for them, the word in flesh and blood alive after being dead was too good of news to be true. So Jesus then eats up in front of them, proving he's not a spirit or a ghost because dead spirits don't need nor can they eat food. It's not until Jesus opened their minds to the word that they finally believe. And this is the joyous news of Easter. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. And the other disciples, they struggle with this, just like you and I sometimes struggle with this information. We know that the same rule that they knew, dead is dead and doesn't come back to life again. So it can be very hard to believe that Jesus rose from three days dead in the grave. Left to ourselves to believe this, we will fail and not believe. Remember what Martin Luther wrote in the small catechism? I believe that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ. Now, if we stopped right there, we would be lost. But the Holy Spirit comes to us through the Word and the sacraments, opening everything written about Jesus in the Holy Scriptures to create faith that believes that Jesus did indeed rise from the dead three days after being in the grave for our salvation. God be praised that it's not up to us to believe, but it's the work of God that we believe that Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.